So if you've noticed, it's like, hey, the end of the video is at the start, but I'm just doing this because once again, I recorded a vast majority of this muted. I did terribly, by the way, as you can see by the uh, score here. But none of that matters because it's been deleted, and I have to do it again. This is one day later. Saturday was a uh, a cluster to say this, this to say the least, but none of that matters. Playing the map again. Bunch of spoilers here since it is Monday. We're doing states, and we are doing West Virginia non-blurry. Um, let's get right into it then. As you see here on the map, West Virginia is technically considered a southern state, even though it looks very much Central Atlantic. If you want to call it a regional name, that's probably what I would say. As you see here, um, located um, to the north, you have chunks of Maryland, chunks of Pennsylvania, and Ohio. To the east, arguably, if you're in the northern panhandle, Pennsylvania is, Maryland is, Virginia is. <clears throat> to the south, um, you've got Virginia, parts of Kentucky, and west. Again, depending on where you are, it could be Virginia. It could even be Maryland could be Ohio and Kentucky. It's a weird state. It's the uh, mountain state. Its capital is Charleston. Tiny little, tiny little nugget of a town here. Um, if you remember from when we discussed the state of Virginia, West Virginia became a state um, after the Wheeling Conventions of 1861, where... Um, most of Virginia wanted to stay a slave state. Uh, there was a large con uh, contingency of people living in Virginia at the time. You could call them Y-E-O-M-A-N, -E yeoman, um, which the American version of that is just farmers who didn't own slaves. And a lot of the... Ooh, I do have a root sign. A lot of the... Um, Yeoman in the state didn't want any. So uh, they were at an impasse and they said, fuck it, we'll make our own state. And they did. And that's how West Virginia became a state. North 52. All right, we do have um, an actual, well, this thing seems to go all across the border. So that's going to be a problem. Right next to water. So this could be right here. Do I see a road on the other side? I see train tracks, but I do not see a road. Um, I'm going to put us maybe here, and hopefully I can uh, get a little bit more information as to exactly where. Uh, I did notice in the previous attempt at this, a lot of the pictures in the state were right along the borders of other states, uh, which I thought was interesting. Uh, but... Let's continue with the uh, basic facts of the state. When it became a state, that was in June 20th, 1863, and this 35th state, one of the few states that came about during the, uh, the Civil War. Uh, it was the first to separate from any, it was actually, let's, let's reset a little bit here. West Virginia was uh, included in this, uh, Admitted to the Union, June 20th, 1863. It was a key border state during the war. It was the only state to form by separating from a Confederate state. The first state to separate from another state, or, you know, just in general, was Maine. And uh, I'll give you a quick look at Maine if you don't remember. Where do you think Maine seceded from? Well, if you said New Hampshire, you're wrong. It was Massachusetts. <laughs> kind of a trick question. Actually... Basically a trick question, but give me TMB trophies. That doesn't help me. A lot of mountains, so I'm going to say we're a little farther south, like maybe there. Nope, I should have left it where it was. God damn it. Well, anyway, more basic facts for the state. We'll go down these really quick. It's, uh, 
Total area is just under 25,000 square miles, making it 41st in area rank. Uh, highest elevation is 4,863 feet, and that's called Spruce Knob. Its population is one point, just below 1.8 million, making it 38th, um, 29th most dense state. Median household income is $43,469, which makes it dead last in the uh, U.S. Now, if you were to ask any, well, a highway, if you were to ask any, like, people, person in the U.S., what they thought, the first thing that came to mind when they thought West Virginia, well, there's a couple of different answers it possibly could be. Um, first one, one of them could be uh, Country Road, the John Denver Classic, which, if you played any Fallout 76 or aware of any of the trailers, they did use that song in it, and West Virginia is one of the lines in it. Um, others could be poverty. Uh, also could be coal mining. And as I hope to remember to get through in this entire thing, all of those are pretty apt. Even, especially the John Denver one, because it's in the song. You can't can, like argue that it's not in the song. Barbersville East Mall Road for Route 60. Let's see. This is the most information I've ever had on any of these. So I'm, there's 60, Barbersville. All right. So we're on Highway 64, which makes me feel. They got weird route signs here, like halves. It's 6089th. Do I see 6089? I do not. Our Barbersville's there. Exit 20. We're on one of these sides. It's just a matter of finding it. And I'm not having much luck seeing that 6089th, 6052. So maybe we're around this area. That seems correct, but I'm not really seeing a road. Connecting from the highway to um, these. Where's East Mall Road? I don't see it. Um, Barbersville seems to be a big chunk of land here, so I'm going to just put us here for now. See if I can't maybe locate this a bit better. I don't want to be on that side. Get me over here. What? 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 Oh, what? Excuse me. Um. What? How? How did I end up up here? That was very weird. I just want to get to the exit. Yeah, we're on Highway 64. Okay. Twenty-one point five miles into it, so it makes me feel we're very close to the. Uh, I think maybe they changed the mileage on the borders. So maybe we're actually over here. I was to maybe make a guess. Um, yeah, because that seems to be like the... Uh, maybe we're like right there. Because there isn't many other offs onto Barbersville except for here and there. Also, did we see water? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me go back. Just I just want to see if this was this was road. This was not water. Yeah, because that it did that weird cross cross down thing too, <clears throat> like we just did now. I hate when it does that, but what are you gonna do? I want to see what this sign says. River Park Road one nine. That, I don't understand the the fractions here on the roads. Oh, but anyway. More West Virginia stuff. Um, let's see here. Just soak in this sign for the one second we have left. All right, so we're around the other side. Still pretty close. More uh, close than I was expecting to be. What did I babble on about last time? <clears throat> let's just go straight into the economy here. Um, Another highway. Man, I am getting so lucky with uh, 
locations as compared to the last one where it was just back roads nonstop. Route 30 South Westin. What's this one over here say? 33, 48, 119. All right, let's do some triangulations here for a 33. There's 33. And a 48. Weston. There's Weston. Buckhannon. There's 190. So we're like... Hmm. We're on 79, I guess. So we're like right... Right here, I'm going to say. West Chapel Jane Lou. Okay, I thought that was one whole name there. Um, got in the wrong screen. I have to do my now overly paranoid check that I am recording, and the mute is not on because <laughs> it's getting to that. Oh man, I don't want to go that far. I just wanted to go right there. Now back one. Southwestin. All right. There's Weston. Southwest, um, Southwestin. It's got to be close to Weston. I mean, that's how this logic works. Zoom in. We're gonna find Southwestin on the Jennings Randolph Highway. Hmm. There's Roanoke. Maybe this is Southwestin. Uh, maybe not. Hillbilly Haven Log Cabin Rentals. Anyway, economy of the state. Uh, the economy of West Virginia nominally would be the 62nd largest economy globally behind Iraq and ahead of Croatia. Uh, according to 2009 World Bank projections. Uh, and the 64th largest behind Iraq and ahead of Libya, according to the 2009 IMF fund projections. Stonewall, Jackson, Lake, and Dam. Uh, there's Stonewall. Yeah, we are right in this nugget. That's where we are. The state has projected nominal GSP of $63.34 billion in 2009, according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis report of November 2010, and a real GSP of 55.04. I don't know what any of this means because I am dumb. Um, the real GDP growth of the state in 2009 was 0.7%, and it was the seventh best in the country. West Virginia is only 10 states in 2009 that grew economically. And um, quick history lesson, there was the recession that happened in the uh, 2008 and kind of uh, bled over for the next year as well. West Virginia was a little insulated from that, um, mainly because of their exports. Uh, while per capita income fell 2.6% nationally in 2009, West Virginia grew at 1.8. Through the first half of 2010, exports from West Virginia topped 3 billion. Uh, Morgantown, let's do a quick little zoom out. Right here was uh, ranked by Forbes as the 10 best small, 10th best small city in the nation to conduct business in 2010. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so they had a lot of growth, and if it was not for Wyoming, West Virginia would be the biggest, like, producer and exporter of coal. Maybe in the world? Well, we were very much far away from there. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, major resource in West Virginia's economy is coal. According to the Economic Energy Information Administration, West Virginia is a top coal producer in the U.S., second only to Wyoming. Uh, because it is located in the heart of the Marcellus Shale natural, natural gas bed, which stretches from Tennessee north to New York in the middle of Appalachia. Uh, since as of 2017, the coal industry accounted for 2% of the state's employment. Let's go down to economy because this uh, there's a reason why they only have dead last in... Uh, in, in average annual income. Let's see here. In 2012, West Virginia's gross domestic product grew by 
The state issued a report highlighting the state's GDP as an indicating of fast-growing economy, but did not, did not address employment indicators. In 2009 to 2013, the U.S. real GDP increased 9.6% and total employment increased 3.9%. In the same period in West Virginia, the real GDP increased about 11, while total employment decreased by 1,000 jobs. Uh, I, I want to see if I can actually get where we are. We are on a route. Route South 119. All right, let's find 119. There's 119. It is a long winding road. All right, so that's going to need a bit of uh, locating. Let's say Spencer Junction, Whitman Junction. <clears throat> now, starting all the way up here, we're going to be looking for a Whitman Junction. Let's see, Whitman Junction. 119 goes south here. Whitman Junction, show yourself to me. Weston Manor. Pickle Street. I mean, you're going to show a Pickle Street, but not Whitman Junction. Come on. Big chimney. <laughs> Whitman Junction. I'm getting concerned. We have Mount Gay Shamrock. And we're at the end. Well, great. I'm really happy that happened. Um, we're going to hit home because I want to see what that sign said right here. All right. Logan exits Route 73. All right, so now we have more triangulation. Looking for Route 73. Going back up. Not seeing it yet. All right, back to the top. This is annoying. But this is what we got to do. Look for Route 73. I don't see you yet. I see a 76. Are you 73? No, you're Route 13. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put us here, just so we're on the route. But I have to look for 73 in 42 seconds. All right, I lost myself for a sec there. 119. 73. It's over here. I mean, I'm getting myself lost very easily. 73, come on. Seven sixths, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Nope. It was down here? Oh, there's Logan. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, well. I don't see that junction anywhere, though. That's a, uh, that's a shame. And finally, <clears throat> let's continue with the, uh, Employment stuff. Let's see here. Uh, in 2013, West Virginia ranked um, last in the nation with an employment to population ratio of only 50% compared to the national average of 59. State lost 5,600 jobs in its labor force in four critical economic sectors construction, manufacturing, retail, and education, while gaining just 400 in mining and logging. Uh, personal income growth in West Virginia during 2013 was only 1.5%, lowest in the nation, and about half the national average. Overall income growth in West Virginia in the last 30 years has only been 13%, compared to the national average of 37%. Wages of the impoverished bottom 1% of income earners decreased by 3%. 
uh, compared to the national average, which increased 19%. So there's some issues in the state. Um, a migration study showed in 2013 that 60% more people moved out of the state than moved in. Virginia's population is, is expected to decline by more than 19,000 residents by 2013, and West Virginia could lose one of its three seats in the House of Representatives because of it. We are near Oakland, Maryland. All right, so we've got ourselves a section to go on. i got to look for Route 90 in Oakland. Let's see. Maryland, not seeing in Oakland yet. Hmm. <clears throat> Losing myself a little. There's Oakland. Okay. So, 90 is around here. Gormania. So, that is. We've got ourselves a anchor, so to speak, here to rotate herself around to try to find exactly where we are. I feel like we're going to be over here. But I'm not seeing a 90 route anywhere just yet. 94? Hmm. Yeah, I feel it's in here. I'm going to put us like here just so I've got a location. Um, let's see here. West Virginia is the only state where death rates exceeds the birth rates. Um, I got to find that thing that, um, find, give me a second. I got to find this fact because I thought it was interesting. Um, okay. I got that, but that's not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the proportion of West Virginia's adult population with a bachelor's degree is the lowest in the U.S. at 17.3%. So there's a, uh, also another documentary you could watch. Ooh, I do have myself 219. There's 219. So we're like here. Maybe like there then. I think I got it. Um, the Wild and Wonderful Whites that... Uh, Johnny Knoxville had something to do with that talks about a pretty crazy family that uh, lives, I believe it's in at least Appalachia, I think it's West Virginia that is an interesting thing to watch um, there's a bunch of other things you can watch like there's a ah fuck we're a little farther south oh 90's right there, okay I was a little off there's this week tonight some coal mining stuff you could read about because another historical thing that West Virginia is kind of known for too are unions, labor rights. There's a long uh, stated history with that though. It's an interesting state to say the least. But that's going to do it for GeoGuessr this week, uh, not this week, for Monday. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If I hope you learned maybe something from this. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, go ahead and put them in the uh, uh, comment section below. And if you could, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, maybe tell your friends, tell me, whatever you want to. The announcements for the week, at least. Um, we're going to go do more GeoGuessr yes like we always do. The cooking thing is going to be coming out tomorrow. The uh, magic will continue, and I might have actually streamed something. Sunday, so maybe I'll start doing Sunday night streams. I don't know yet. I still have to work out how well my internet's going to be for that, but stay tuned. Thank you all again. Have a good one. We'll see you really soon. Goodbye.